What's up, Mets fans? Back with Mark and James, the Messed Up Podcast. We have an incredibly special treat for you guys today. We're a starting pitcher who needs no introduction. This is Justin Verlander, new member of the New York Mets. First of all, Justin, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate this tremendously. And the first question I have to ask you, what's on everybody's mind, is why New York and why the Mets? Um, you know, I think I, early on in this in this offseason, I had a conversation with Steve, and it was just... Uh, the call was not what I expected. It was so interesting. He just wanted to get to know me as a person. Um, we didn't really talk about baseball all that much. Um, and looking back when a few weeks after that, when it really came time for me and my family to sit down and make a decision, um, that conversation just continued to stick out to me because it just kind of gave me some insight into how he's going to treat this organization. It's, you know, it's not just a, a thing for him that he owns. He's intimately involved and he wants to, to make, uh, make sure that the people that are part of this organization are the right fit and uh, wants to get to know them personally. And I mean, what more could you ask for as a player than that of, of an owner? And, and um, you know, those are the type that you want to win a championship for that type of person. With the Mets making a lot of moves this off season, bringing you in as well on a good team, how does how excited does it make you to be a part of the team? Um, I mean, really excited. You know, I, I, I think, you know, Billy touched on it in the press conference. Um, one of the meetings that we had was I, very candidly asked Billy, like, hey, you're losing a lot of pieces here. Um, you know, uh, if I sign on, like, are we still going to replace some of those pieces to be a great team? And uh, he kind of ran me through his thought process and, you know, took a bit of a leap of faith that, that he was going to follow through with that. And it's funny now, just a few weeks later, sitting here and seeing that the, the pieces that he's added, um, you know, I, 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 I've been uh, watching my phone, seeing, you know, scrolling the Mets <laughs> stuff and um, uh, just seeing what's happening. And, I mean, shoot, I was on just vacation recently when Singa signed. And it's like, I mean, we were celebrating. Like, it, you know, it was amazing. Just, just this, like, I mean, to see it actually play out and really go above the expectations that I had, um, it, it just makes you so excited to be a, a, as a player. As fans, too, that's so incredible for us to hear, and especially seeing you take that leap of faith. The trust in your organization is something that's so amazing that's been built here by Steve and Billy in such a short period of time. But talking about your career now, you've had such an incredibly, such some incredible accomplishments in your career. You have the personal awards, you have the team of accolades, you're defending Cy Young winner and defending World Series champion. When you've done all that already. What keeps you going? You know, this, this game isn't easy. It's, it's a lot of sacrifice. The schedule's not easy. I'm away from my family quite a bit. Um, you know, I've dealt with injuries in my past, and I feel like, really, like, why would I give all that sacrifice to not squeeze every ounce of this? You know, uh, as athletes, we have a short, such a short runway of a career. Um, and why would I not try to extend that runway as long as possible? It'd be doing myself and all the hard work that I put in and the sacrifice that I made a disservice. We heard earlier during your press conference that you've actually spent an off-season living in New York before, so you're a little more accustomed than most that are coming in. What would you say is your favorite thing about the city? Oh, boy. Um, the food. Um, and, yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> um, and just the vibe, man. It's just it's just so electric. You, you know, it's just... Um, it's, it's got a life of its own, um, and it's just uh, such an amazing place to be, and, and, and I didn't know that until I lived here, and I feel like you can't know that until you live here. I mean, as a, as a visiting player, you always come in, they put you in Times Square, basically. You know, we're in Midtown, um, and little did I know Midtown as a New Yorker. You're like, oh, God, I don't know, <laughs> you know? But you don't know that as a visiting player, so, and that's what I tell all my teammates now, the guys that are like, oh, I hate New York. I'm like, listen, you just don't know New York. You're, in, you're staying in Midtown, of course. It's what you see on TV, but, like, get out, explore, and you'll love it. And so I'm so thankful now, especially that I'm coming here to, to live, um, to have that experience. And, and, and I'm so, you know, it's not, there's no nervousness about being here. It's, it's excitement. That's so funny you say that because like, you gave the answer that New Yorkers give, like the life of its own, like the neighborhoods of food. Like that was, oh, that's a cool and comforting thing to hear that. You're coming <laughs> to this team and like you're already here. You're ready to be a part of it. But Appreciate you saying that. Something else you mentioned in your press conference I found really interesting is that as you've progressed in your career, you've gone from being someone who's a little bit more stubborn, a little bit more rigid in their ways, mm -hmm. someone who's ready to turn over every stone, ready to do mm -hmm. anything possible to win and be the best player you can be, which, mm -hmm. again, as a fan, member of this organization, that's incredible. We heard the story from when you were younger in your career that you had a bit of a superstition that you were eating Taco <laughs> Bell yeah. before every single game you pitched, and that changed around something you also mentioned, the core surgery 2014. Yep. The press conference seemed like we saw an interview that you stopped doing it around then. So yep. is that what made that stop? And just as a side question, do you ever still indulge in Taco <laughs> Bell? Uh, to be honest, I haven't eaten Taco Bell in a long time. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think it's probably the right decision. Um, 
But um, yeah, I mean, I think what happened was uh, the, <laughs> the core surgery unfortunately led to me having a not great season. But what that not great season allowed me to do was get rid of all the superstitions that I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to keep anymore. So that was one of the ones that kicked the bucket. Uh, in terms of, you know, your career, like James said earlier, you've done a lot. The number 300 obviously has a big meaning in baseball. Is that something that you ever think about? I mean, yeah, because everybody asked me about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I, 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 of course I do. Um, you know, it's not one of those things. Though my entire career, it's, it's, it hasn't been one of those things that I'm like, uh, I'm not goal oriented per se. I'm not like I need 300 wins or 3,000 strikeouts or blah 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 blah. I just feel like that mindset allows you to kind of let off the gas if you ever get there. Um, and why not just you know stay on the accelerator? Um, so, you know, it's been pretty cool recently because you start passing some names in your career that I've looked up to my entire life. And, um, you know, I'll be in the middle of a game and not even know where I'm at. And all of a sudden up on the scoreboard goes, you know, Justin Verlander passes Bob Gibson and something. And I'm like, oh my God, like, <laughs> that's incredible. That's a good name. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. Wow, that was a good name. Um, it's just pretty cool. It, it's just, you know, I, I've tried to more recently in my career be a bit more present um, and, and just not be so like, uh, just so driven on the future and, and just like, try to get where I'm going. Um, and so like being able to appreciate those moments a little bit more while you're in them is is pretty cool. And so sometimes those names flash up on the board or uh, it kind of like shakes you a little bit. You're like, damn, all right, that's cool. <laughs> all right, Justin, one more question before we close out. Again, thank you so much for no sitting problem. with Thanks us today, taking a few minutes. All Mets fans know you. You've been around a very long time. You've had one of the best careers of any pitcher currently in baseball, but you really get to know a player a little bit better when they're on your team. So tell Mets fans right now what they can expect <laughs> from Justin Verlander, the person, the player, the competitor, everything. All right. Well, you know, I think, um, you know, I think the competitiveness speaks for itself. You're going to get somebody who is never leaving a stone unturned to go out and be as successful as I possibly can be when I take the mound. Um, that I can promise you. I think what I've gotten better at as I've gotten older is helping those around me to be as successful as they can be. Um, whatever influence or insight I can give, um, to help everyone around me is something that I've really thrived in more recently. And, um, you know, to be able to, to, to not only have your own success, but to help others have success around you is really what makes a great team. And I'm hopeful that I can be a part of building a, a championship caliber organization here. Justin, thank you so much. Yeah, that was thanks, amazing. Never expected this so enough. <laughs> Welcome to the Mets. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Great contract. Thank, thank you. Amazing. Thank you.